Hi, Aunt Jackie. I would like to ask you a few questions about your time during the Civil Rights Movement. My pleasure. Where did you live and how old were you during the Civil Rights Movement? Okay, around that time I was living in Richmond, Virginia, and I was born in 1953 while the movement was happening. How do you remember the movement affecting education? Wow. The movement did not affect education too severely. I went to an all black school. So the movement made my teachers emphasize more and how important education was. What do you remember about segregation in your town? Segregation? Well, I lived in an all black community at that time. My living conditions were worse than a normal suburban household. Also, I lived with my mother and four other siblings at that time. <clears throat> Describe one good memory you have of this period in American history. Hmm, I remember feeling proud to be a black person at that time. I was inspired by great leaders like Martin Luther King, as you know, Malcolm X. These men really motivated me and made me realize that I am as good as any human being, despite the color of my skin. Describe one disturbing memory you have of this period in American history. The day I witnessed a group of African Americans get sprayed down with water from a fire hose and attacked by police dogs. This image was really disturbing and sticks with me till this day. What do you think about Black Lives Matter and similar movements? I'm not against the Black Lives Matter movement, but I am concerned because it strays away from a level-minded and non-violent approach. Okay. What are your thoughts on the assassination of Malcolm X and Martin Luther King? It was tough seeing two biggest inspirations get assassinating, assassinated excuse me, because they fought for equal rights and were very passionate about it. And personally, I believe there is a bigger conspiracy beyond their deaths. Do you think that the president did everything in his power to better the situation at the time? No, honey, not at all. I feel as if our president at the time just played along with the movement, so when so we wouldn't lose any support from Americans. Did marching, did, excuse me, did marches, sit-ins, and other demonstrations help or hurt the movement? I believe they were very helpful. It showed the world how black people were mistreated and by African-Americans showing nonviolence it made clear in every situation who the aggressor was. What were some failures of the civil rights movement? I don't think the civil rights movement was a failure as a whole, but attitudes and self-pride is what got in the way. For example, the Black Panthers use aggression to showcase how they felt about racism about but excuse me but Martin Luther King and Malcolm X could clearly stated how peace and a level-headed approach is the key to success thank you Aunt Jackie for your uh, responses today and I hope you have a nice day you're very welcome thank you All right.